hi guys so I wanted to make this video for a long time but I couldn't able to make time for it so this is my video of the Sony Vio UX UMPC and I will later in next video compare my Mate C version 4 with this so uh, make a reminder to watch that one also so so I turned it on right now uh, uh, this is the uh, modified version of the UMPC because uh, this uses an SSD and also use a much larger battery so first of all let's see the form factor uh, this is uh, a handheld form factor really good in hand really feels hefty this have a 4.5 inch screen and also a camera in the front and also a, another camera in the back here there so and also a QWERTY keyboard and I will talk about the keyboard later when I, while I'm typing and there's the thumbstick and two buttons zoom button here this doesn't work and there's four button and this is the power button here and this is the wireless turn on and off button so uh, in the button here uh, there's two uh, one is earphone and one is microphone jack and this is the docking port and this is the DC input and in the back uh, there's the antenna here uh, this one is GPS and the SIM antenna the 3G antenna and this is the inlet port and this is the outlet and there's uh, one USB and here is the uh, SIM uh, modem here inside and you can use also a GPS or a SIM so you have to interchange between them and there was another uh, slot for I think zip uh, card and here's the big battery uh, this one is 5000 million uh, large big battery I'll talk about the battery life later and at the top uh, there's the camera button for capturing and this is the memory stick duo SD card and uh, this model does not match with the uh, internals I have right now because I changed it uh, internals I will show you later so as for the first let's see what we, what I have here uh, this one is Debian 11 mm -hmm. I used to in, I used to have uh, Debian 10 uh, but with Debian 10 uh, the softwares are really old so I have to use uh, Debian 11 but there's a problem is in the Debian 10 the SD card really works uh, you can play music or uh, play video from the SD card but in the Debian 11 it doesn't work uh, Debian 11 when you play some videos from the SD card uh, it automatically unmounts itself so you can't really use the SD card for playing anything but you can use the SD card for transferring files from the SD card to the internal SSD uh, internal SSD size is 16 GB you can't get more than 16 GB I think for the SSD because of the form factor of the SSD it's not M.2 SSD it's a zip I think and also the cameras and the fingerprint doesn't work both cameras actually the Debian and this zoom button doesn't work but for as for the this button and this button you can configure them for other purpose so this button I use for maximizing the apps and minimizing and this one is to uh, close the apps and uh, as for the other things everything works uh, except uh, what I told you and let's see what works right now so 
first of all this thumbs thumbstick button uh, this works really good for moving your mouse pointer but the thing is this also have a left click button uh, integrated to it so when you go here see there's a left click button so this really annoys me because when you move uh, the left click also suddenly pops up uh, it doesn't make any uh, really sense why they will use a left click button maybe because of the single handed use so it's really annoying you can't disable it in the Debian also but uh, I could able to disable the touch screen also uh, other things but you can't disable this thumbstick button uh, the left click button and another thing is uh, uh, you can configure these two button as I said before so let's open uh, so I can minimize it so using this button and I can close it using this button so here I can minimize and this one is for closing and this button is for middle click uh, and this is left this is right as for these two button uh, this doesn't work also you can't configure it to other to do other stuff and another thing is the the CPU the CPU is 32 bit and it's not 64 bit but nowadays you can't get any uh, Linux distro who offers Six, uh, 32 bit except Debian I think so this is the latest Debian 11 uh, Debian 11 so I will suggest if you are buying any uh, UMPC we'll just look for 64 bit uh, CPU not 32 bit so let's see the configuration of the system So as you can see I am running Debian 11 and this is 32 bit and kernel is uh, 5.10 and this is the Intel Core Solo CPU so uh, U 1500 so this means it only have one core not dual core but 64 bit version of this device it's dual core but it's really hard to get th uh, those uh, CPUs with this device uh, they didn't made that much and uh, this is 1,333 uh, megahertz CPU and this uh, have 1 GB of RAM as you can see and the display size is uh, the display size is uh, uh, 1,024 by 600 pixel and the the using Debian 11 is first reason is the Qt toolkit version is 5.15 uh, with most of the new apps you need 5.15 Qt toolkit and other uh, latest toolkit version so that's why I had to install uh, Debian 11 even though Debian 10 was working great my SD card was working and other stuff but with I had to use Debian 11 to get newer apps and Firefox to get in the internet and as for the battery see this annoying left click so as for the battery uh, this is a new battery uh, see you can see uh, the battery health is 98 percent but the battery only lasts for two and a half hours even though it says like uh, it has three hours and 41 minutes probably it will last for three hours if there is there are some idle times but usually if you are continuously using this device you will get uh, three or two and a half hours that's it and as for the software uh, let's type let's see the keyboard by typing some So, uh, with the keyboard, you, you can't type with your uh, belly of your thumb. 
you, you have to use your nails but then it's really good keyboard but i don't know why everyone says like the keyboard is really bad because maybe they are using their uh, belly of your of their thumb you have to use your nails uh, test keyboard is also backlit as you can see mm. yeah uh, then I click this one to minimize that and this one to close it also here yeah and the keyboard is really good uh, because it has all the keys you need to uh, use in use uh, in a PC uh, so the keyboard is really good but you have to use your nails not the belly of your thumb and the sliding mechanism is also great it's one ha one finger you need to close and open the sliding mechanism it also have this speaker the sound is not good but it's it's enough for a handheld and yeah this is this uh, i will really suggest using a linux distro not uh, windows xp or windows 7 because those uses much ram maybe when you boot up 500 MB or 600 MB for the XP and 700 MB for uh, Windows 7 so you can't get uh, that much of RAM like around 300 MB for for your apps so it's not enough but if you're using a Linux distro it only take like 200 M MB RAM so As you can see, it's only taken 21%, uh, so around 200 MB for Linux distro. So I really suggest using a Linux distro like Debian 11 or Debian 10. It will be much better when you use these kinds of UMPC. But also think about getting a 64-bit processor, not a 32-bit. Okay, let's see the uh, docking station right now. And this is the docking station. Uh, this one have the power jack, Ethernet, two USB, VGA, uh, firewire port, and Kensington lock, USB again. And this is the composite out uh, to your TV, and nothing else. And this goes here. like this so this is the sliding yeah the tilt is uh, enough when you put it in your desk you can visibly see what's happening but when you are using an external monitor it can go like this and you can also use this monitor so it's great the form factor and overall the system how it feels in the hand and this is the form factor uh, like I'm really glad they made it like you can't even like imagine how how really good like it feels in the hand because of this like you can hold it like this or in one hand like this because of the battery I used to have the slim battery but it only lasted for one hour so also the battery health of that slim battery is really bad so I use uh, the bigger one yeah the form factor the apps the screen is enough for an handheld nowadays also but if you really want to rock it I will suggest uh, using as buying a 64 bit version of the CPU and the using a Linux distro so I hope uh, you guys uh, see the next video coming about the comparison between this and uh, my mutancy. Uh, I really didn't base my mutancy with this UMPC. Uh, UM I made it uh, f 
I got this form factor from the Nokia mobile, sliding mobile, not this UMPC. I later on saw the UMPC when I'm searching more uh, keyboard based form factor. Then I discovered UMPC, but my my mutancy form factor came from the Nokia sliding device. Yeah, uh, I will see you guys in the next video about this comparison between these two. Okay, guys, see you later.